played the complete part, copy it, is control C, go back up here and go back to our main scene file, paste it into the scene, which you can see it, it is huge. So what we're going to do is actually just pull it up a little bit, go ahead and uh, downscale it a little bit, there we go, to where it looks about right, go F2 top view, okay, okay we're in the top view, pull it this way, and we need to rotate it, so you can rotate it any way you want to, you can use a rotate tool or go here in the coordinates, and I'm just going to rotate 180 here, because I want to get it straight first, 180 degrees, and let's maneuver it over this way, we're going to do this one first, and we're going to do it, oh, we need to scale it down a little bit more because it's too big, that should be pretty good, we'll go to where it's middle, let's go to F4 front view, there we go, and it's way up in the sky, let's bring it down, now we can see we need to move it over some, there we go, and it may look just a little nuts, I'd say it's pretty good, okay, that's good right there, now before we go and maneuver this where it's angled to the truck itself, we're going to do copy paste so that we have another one for the other side. Because this you can't use symmetry on because it's going to be different. It's going to fit on that one differently. So first thing you want to do is drop it down into here and go to your objects window and hide the other one. Okay, there we go. Now go to F3 side view. And we're going to rock it a little bit, move it into position a little bit better, this way forward a little bit, then rotate it so that it fits the windshield. Go to 2, look how we're looking here, then go to F3 again, and let's rotate it a little bit this way so it just touches the windshield just a little bit. Now tweak it a little bit more. There we go, let's rotate it just a tiny bit more. Okay. Now, open up your object manager, select this, open it up, your arm, you want to go ahead and select it, and let's rotate it a little bit, and then we're going to fit it, rotate it a little bit this way, there we go, and then go ahead and pull it out just a little bit, doesn't have to be on there perfectly. And if you want to get super detailed, you can, you know, line it up exactly, but I'm going to get it where it just fits it just right. There we go. That's good enough for me. All right. And there's the first wiper blade on. And now we want to go back to the objects manager window. Select this one. Highlight it. Go ahead and open it up because we're going to be coming back to it to move it just like the other one. It's a space bar to go back to the move tool or just your regular tools so that you can manipulate and move it. Now go to top view and this one we want to line up so it hits just at the edge right here not all the way and F3 then we want to go and rotate it again so it's about the same as the other one and then pull it down where it meets the truck and then curve it this way so that it fits the truck too and it went too far, so let's go here and do it this way, and we get a better movement of the tool. There we go. Let's bring it up right just above that. Then go here to the Objects Manager, select the arm again, and we want to maneuver this so that it's straight with the truck. Windshield, about right there. And it looks like it's fitting there pretty good, but we want to rock it just a little bit like that. And we're going to go ahead and go to points mode here. We're going to go to the object manager and we're going to hold the shift key down and select the wiper blade. Go ahead and go to the rectangle selection tool, grab this here and we want to pull this in so that it touches the truck a little bit more. There we go. Is it touching it all the way? Nope. Let's bring it just a little bit more. There we go. Select these right here. Okay. And drop those down a little bit. And there we go. We don't need it perfect. But we got it 
so that it looks good. Okay, that's on there. The other one's on there too. There we go. And there we go. We've added the wiper blades to the truck. You can add them if you want to. It's up to you, but now we are uh, almost finished. We got one more piece to add on here, and that's going to be the license plate, and that's going to be really simple to do, and I'm just going to go ahead and just add it right now, a part of this. So let's pull this cube out here. Go to object mode or model tool mode, and go ahead and just bring this down like that, and bring this down like that, and bring this over here like that, and it's square, and we don't want square, so let's go to the attributes, and close that. Go ahead and turn on the lit, and we'll bring it down to two again, and bring this down real small too. Okay, get a close look at it. That's pretty good. And that's a little, still a little bit thick for a license plate, but drop it down. And at this point, you can make it editable if you want to. I'm going to make it editable because I like everything to be able to scale at the same size. F4 front view. Let's move it down and draw in here. You can see we can make it a little bit bigger. Space bar, go back to scale tool. There we go. See how that looks. F3, side view, and let's move this in. Okay. Okay, and we're not going to put bolts on it. We're going to just leave it like that because we're not doing a high detail truck here. It's a lot of detail for a truck. There you go. Then copy, paste, and then let's slide it all the way to the back. There we go. Because we're going to put the back one on at the same time. There we go. Let's slide it down just a little bit. There we go. Now there's a front and back license plate. So let's go to the objects manager, do a little cleaning up here. Go ahead and select that one and that one. Right click and rename to wiper blades and drop it into our single uh, hyper which is right here, and fix that where it says single. Okay, there we go. And this cube and this cube you can leave out, group them together if you want to, and just call it license plate. And license plates. Okay, and we got the tires right. That's correct. That's correct. And let's save because our truck is virtually done. Next step will be tweaking. So that's the truck so far. We've done a good job. We've got everything on here that we need. The windshields, the windows, tires, rims, brakes, headlights, brake lights. All the good stuff on there. So go ahead and save out. And our next step will be the final step is tweaking. And that will be it for right now. See